Okay, it's installment four. Is that right? It's the fourth episode, isn't it? In our series. Now, this time I've got a timer set for 15 minutes. Well, it's actually going to go off in about 14 minutes. So I can't possibly run over this week because that was a bit of a nightmare last week. And also it's raining, so you might hear raining in the background because we're in the conservatory and it's very loud on the roof, unfortunately. But uh, we just have to speak up, won't we? Yes. Okay, this week we are going to be talking about light sensors. Light sensors, yeah. So I've got three robots with me this week that have all got a light sensor in them. Oh, so they are, yeah. That's why you've got them out, is it? Yes, it is. So we've got Squawkers McCaw here. Now, he is in standby at the minute. Oh, <laughs> I must have touched him there, brought him out of standby. But he's got a light sensor that uh, is just above his speed. So that when you put your hand over like this, he blinks. Yeah. So he does, yeah. 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 He yeah, also right. uses his light sensor to play pick a right. as well. Okay. Where is his light sensor then? In the head? It, it's sort of about here. Okay. Right. Dolly's crying already. Just yeah, give me some milk. <laughs> right. Oh my God! It's like thunderstorm out there. So what's this one you've got on? Right, this one is an M bot. Is this a robot? It's a pro. Explain to the people. I suppose you know it is a robot. Is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it is a little robot, isn't it? And. Um, it's a programmable robot. Yeah, you can program it in something called Scratch, graphical programming language, and it's absolutely full of sensors. This thing is. Yeah. Absolutely full of sensors. It's got a light sensor. I just you. I love you. So I'll point them all out quickly. It's got a light sensor Let's... in there. Oh, don't talk about all the others. Okay. He's focusing on light sensors. Okay. So light sensors here. In the case. The, and these are great if you want to learn to do some programming because yeah. the scratch environment makes it super easy. Yeah, you just drag these blocks around and you can put together a program in no yeah. time at all. It's quite fun. Yeah. And uh, I use the light sensor a lot. So I wrote this little program that meant when the light dropped a certain amount, all these pretty lights came on and uh, it played Brahms' lullaby. <laughs> Yeah, so that was nice. So, and Dolly! She's got a light sensor as well somewhere. Right. Now, it says in the manual. <coughs> Good night. It says in the manual. Oh, sleep lesson. Now, it says in the manual that she has a light sensor. It says yeah. both, both your eyes are sensitive, doesn't it? Yeah. Both your eyes are sensitive to light. But not. They're not. It, we've done a test and it looks like it's just the right one. Yes, we've done we've done that test yeah. several times. We always come back. So we could be proven wrong and you can do the test yourself, but we reckon she's got one light sensor and it's behind and uh ra eye. Dolly's right eye. Is she switched on? Um, are you on, Dolly? Is she gone to sleep? You've not switched off, are you? No, she's awake, is she? We're gonna do a demonstration. Well, you might not be able to do it in here because it's quite dull anyway now, isn't it? So, well, well we can try. try. We can try. Shall I? I, I can only try. So, I'll, I'll do. I'll do. <laughs> you're, you're doing it. You could do the filming. And, okay. Uh, yeah. the... okay. So okay. we think it's in Dolly's right eye. So you're trying to get play pe peekaboo, and you're doing her. Uh, that's her right eye. Yeah, she said spooky. Peekaboo. Peek okay. Try One more there. time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now try left eye then. Hello! <laughs> She's done... Oh no, she hasn't. I thought she'd gone into that mode where she sort of just... It goes rigid, but she didn't. Right, try again. Nope, no reaction. So, she's got a light sensor in her right, in her right eye only. Okay, 
so, having established where Dolly's sensor is for light, uh, let's just talk about how she uses that sensor in the programming. She uh, plays. Do you not, do you not want to look at us? I mean, we're going to do that next. Okay, right. She plays Pickaboo, um, but I find the funniest stuff is the phrases that she comes out with when the room up. Because we took her to my mother-in-law's for the first time she saw her. And the first thing that Dolly said when she came into my mother-in-law's kitchen was, It's dark in here. Which for some reason and upset my mother. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like being told by a doll that her kitchen was dark. And uh, yeah, we found that very amusing, didn't we? Okay, so... <laughs> Now we are going to look at what is in a light sensor. So first of all, you're going to show us... Uh, yeah, there, there are several yeah. different light sensors. Can you focus on them? Yeah, but that, you said there's something... This is the diode. No, this is something called a light-dependent resistor. Oh, sorry. It's been around for, it's been around for decades, this sort of sensor. It's a two-terminal device. You Can Can you see it? Like, so this squirt. is... Uh, I'll just focus so this is like quite old technology isn't yeah it? very old they've been around for decades these it's uh it's a sensor it uh, receives light on the front face and what happens it changes it into an electrical signal uh the resistance is measured on these leads drops which can be measured by an electronic circuit or a microcontroller uh the, the brighter the light the lower the resistance or the darker so, it is the higher the resistance is that quite a simple thing then dead simple in fact you know i bought some of these ago to ex uh, a while ago to experiment with that's a pack from china i think there's about 50 in there for a quid all oh, right you find these in all sorts of devices like security lights to keep them off during the daytime ah. so that's that's one so type the, it, it, that is what is probably you don't know 100 percent because we haven't taken her apart we've not taken dolly apart we're not going to but, um, but i suspect probably yeah but it's not the only type of light sensor there are other types but it's probably that one. Yeah. Just quickly to show you a different type. <laughs> uh, this is a, an electronic circuit board subassembly. It's for detecting distance for robotics. This white thing here and this black thing, they look like LED, light emitting diodes. Uh, but this white one emits infrared light. Um, and the black one is what they call a photodiode. It receives infrared light and gives an electrical signal. So like the light-dependent resistor, which is sensitive to visible light, this black thing here is sensitive to infrared light. Uh, so that's a different type of light detector, sensitive to just infrared, whereas this is sensitive to uh, all the light we can see. Yeah. Right, so that is probably what is in... Um, the light sensors in all the three toys we've got here. Probably, but we yeah. don't know for sure. We don't know for sure, but probably. So Dolly's got one of those behind her right eye. Yeah, right. So what is her actually... bionic eye? Mm -hmm. So what is actually in here? We've got two wires, uh -huh. and then I mean, if I looked at this, I'd think it's like a little worm, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I can see. Because uh, firstly, it's being distracted again. Yeah, get that. Right. Uh, okay, can you see it? Keep it still. Yeah. Now, Just... that that's behind what Oops. looks like glass. Yeah. Looks to me like the thing we were looking at last week. Uh huh. Which, which was the two teeth and you, you, underneath the button and you press the button down and it joined the two teeth together. No, it's not, it's not like that. Is it not? No. Oh. <laughs> See, this is somebody without any knowledge and that's how I interpret it. So difficult, there you go. Difficult to see actually this. I can't get a good shot of it. Can you, if I put it on the background, can you get a good shot? That, that's uh, good enough. That's good yeah, as you're going to get. It. Oh, it's all joined together, isn't it? There's no gap in it. It's like yeah. a little squiggle, isn't it? Yeah. Like a squiggle. Okay. Right. I think we've seen that. 
Yeah, you can feed the baby. I'll feed the baby, yeah. Right, so now that we've seen that, we're going to look sight inside, which is like a little squiggly line. Yeah. So that squiggly line's like an electric circuit, is it? Well, it's a, it's a layer of a, a chemical compound called cadmium sulfide, and apparently this chemical compound just changes its resistance with light. So it's changing the variation in light level to an electrical quantity, variation in resistance. And of course, once it's an electrical quantity, it can be measured by an electric circuit or a microcontroller. You're going to have to go slower because, do you know what? I didn't understand one word to that. Okay, sorry. Uh, a sensor, <laughs> what, okay, let, what, what, what does a sensor do? This is a light sensor. What does a sensor do? It detects it senses something. It, it, detects. Dete it detects a physical quantity in our world that we could probably feel like heat... Light. Light, weight, speed, acceleration. Temp yeah. Oh. Temperature, yeah, that's another good one. So it detects a physical quantity in our world. This is what a sensor does. Detects a physical quantity in our world and converts it to an electrical quantity. Right. So that a circuit or a microcontroller or a computer can measure it. It's going to be converted into an electrical quantity. Okay. I mean, so when you say electrical quantity, do you mean like an amount of electricity? Uh, I mean like possibly a, a variation in voltage is the most common one. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I know a little bit about voltage. I know different batteries have got different voltages. Yeah, you've got one and a half volt batteries, AAs, Cs and, and Ds, and our, 9 volts. And like uh, our electricity in our sockets is a different voltage that's right that's America, 200, 240 volts i think they and in europe as well uh yeah i think they use 120 in the states in right. europe yeah but ac as well so, uh, AC. the only thing i understand about voltage is it's like if you, if it's a higher voltage there's more electricity am i right um no oh it's a pity <laughs> <laughs> let's not get too complicated I'm trying to understand. Uh, if it was a higher voltage, you'd be more likely to get a shock. But, you know, that's only, off, right. that's only off the story. Okay. Anyway, okay. sensors convert physical quantities into electrical quantities so that electrical circuits so can measure them. So different kinds of voltage. Yeah, to convert them into different levels of voltage, you could say. Yeah. And then the microcontroller gets that information. Yep. So if the light level's varying from very bright to sort of medium brightness, the voltage on a sensor like this might go from, say, 5 to 3. So the microcontroller knows that the light level's dropped.